This video is about the behavior of a pulse propagating in a string. I start showing a homogeneous string with rims fixed at the right and loose at the left. Notice that the concavity is inverted at the fixed rim and is preserved at the loose rim. Now a situation with a joint in the middle. Regard the black line as a heavy string and the pink one as a light string. At the joint the pulse is partially reflected. The reflected pulse concavity is inverted when passes from pink to black and preserved when passes from black to pink. The transmitted pulse keeps the instant concavity in any case. Also, the transmitted pulse is always shorter and narrower when passes into the black string, or taller and wider when passes to the pink string. Notice that the pulse is faster in the light string. Here there is a more interesting situation. In the animation at the top, the joint between the heavy and light strings is not discontinuous. Instead, it's a segment, shown in blue, with a mass density varying linearly from one string to the other. What this joint segment does is to couple the energy of the pulse between the light and heavy strings so there is little reflection, as can be seen comparing the top and bottom animations. In the top, the reflected pulse is smaller and wider. For both reasons, its energy is much lower. Of course, the same applies if the pulse goes from black to pink, as shown here. The wider the joint segment, the smaller is the reflection. Or equivalently, the shorter the pulse width, the smaller is the reflection. These properties also apply to optical systems. Electromagnetic waves passing from high to low or low to high indexes of refraction behave much like in these animations. Many optical devices are coated with a gradient index layer that works as an anti-reflective coating, just as this joint segment does. At last I show you a string with mass density decreasing all the way from left to right. Here I'm attempted to make an analogy with tsunami waves. The pulse propagating toward the lighter region is like the tsunami wave propagating toward shallow waters. As this simulation shows, the amplitude of the wave increases. However, this analogy fails in other two important aspects. A tsunami wave becomes narrower and slower contrary to this pulse. This video complements an article published in Revista Brasileira de Ensino de Física. If you need more details on how these simulations were made, look for RBEF in Google plus Pulse String Keywords and you can download the article for free. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!